Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Akiba's Trip. It's, it's a little, it's a little messy, but okay. All right. Uh, so we are. Can I even see my face through here? Almost. I get to wear a pretty kimono, and I get to be mostly exposed. What? Did she just, she just scream at me? Did you just? Yeah. Well, I, just, just fall. No, no, just fall. Just fall over. Oh, maybe I could line her up to see her face through it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cause it turned. I assume maybe that's a feature and not a glitch. Hey, tourist. Konnichiwa. Wait. Why the hell are you speaking Japanese? I have it on English. Or just, just to keep the Japanese feel of it all? Alright. Alright, uh... Well, it wants me to come here. Really? Yeah, okay, what do you want? Okay! <laughs> she just wanted me to shove her out of the way, apparently. Alright. Alright. Here we are, in a place he told me to go. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like you just lagged out. So great. Ah, uh, pretty much back to normal. Strangely energetic. Like a muscle man! I always feel that way. Alright. Okay. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Okay. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. Okay. So they're after my clothes? So they're after your clothes? So they're after your underwear? What? How how would you take that from what she said to you? So they're after your clothes, so they're after your underwear. I don't understand these two. Yeah. That's right. And if they find you, they're going to attack on sight. I, I should have said the underwear bit just so that she's like, What the hell are you talking about, you idiot? You must have hit your head harder than I expected. Of course, there are bound to be those who <clears throat> But I wouldn't count on it. Okay. <laughs> they're here. And they make you blush? I guess because they're trying to steal your clothes. That would make me blush, too. It's her! We found her! Alright. That filthy failure's with her, too! Yay! Smush them both! You're gonna smush us. They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. Alright, time to make some naked guys. Ah, run away! Let's call the police! Damn, why don't they just... Why couldn't they have sent girls? What the hell is wrong with you, you oversexed person? Uh, I, I assume he's pretty straight, too, because he, he should be like, Oh, guys, I can strip naked! But no, he, he's, uh... He's an otaku. Alright. Ah, run away! No, that won't be necessary. We're gonna strip them in the My street. Is to fight them until they're subdued. Okay. You should be able to feel it too by now. The power to fight awakening within you. Okay. Come, join me in this battle. All right. Let us strip them naked. Fighting, huh? I guess I better man up. I suppose I don't really have much choice. All right, let me at them. We're gonna wreck it. Uh, you should be more cap more than capable of putting up a fight at this point. Let's take these guys down together. We shall. All right. Hey, you got boxing gloves. That's not fair. Back up. Yeah. 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 I faked you out. I faked you out. Slide back punch, son. Yeah. Uh, Synthesters have tough bodies, so physical punishment 
alone won't be enough to defeat them. Okay, how do I strip them naked? I'll show you what will, though. Tr first, try targeting a specific article of clothing. How the hell do I do that? I want to take off your bandana. Press Y. I was going to say triangle for some reason. To attack the head. Press B to attack the upper body. Press A to attack the lower body. All right, I'm going to take your pants off, son. Words I never thought I would say and was sentenced together. Your goal is to wear down each of your opponent's clothing items. So what, I punch him until his pants fall off? Uh, not just shirts and pants, but headgear as well. Okay. Ah! Take your pants off! Take your- no, take your pants off! Take your- take your pants off! Take your pants off! Take your pants off! Take your pants off! Well done, your opponent's clothes are pretty scruffed up. Oh no, my clothes are damaged! When you think their durability is low enough, you can try pulling them off. Just press and hold Y, B, or A to grab the appropriate part of the enemy's outfit and attempt to remove it. Okay, so I assume I need to hold A. And those are the basics of stripping. Why not try your hand at it? I, okay, let's take your pants off. Give me your pants. Give me your pants. Oh, hey, don't punch me. I'm just trying to take your pants off. Give me your pants. Give me your Yeah. Oh, no, no, not. No, no. I just, just no. Okay. I'm so sorry you had to die naked in the street, sir. Picking up items, defeated enemies may leave weapons or items behind. Weapons can be equipped in the change menu and items can be used via the item menu. Did you know that you can press and hold LB to straighten your clothes? Fully recovering all durability that's been lost. All right, of course, of course. Come on, there's only one left. Let's get this guy, or let's get this over with before reinforcements arrive. Arrive! Give me your headgear. Okay, well let me punch you in the face some more then. Take my punches. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. Damn it! I'm just getting knocked on the. Eh, 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 eh. eh. I can't tell what my durability is. All right, give me your headgear. Okay, that's my durability. All right, hold on. I gotta straighten my clothes. Gotta straighten my suit. I hope I get like a boss ass suit. All right, can I take your, yeah. Give me that. Don't be a dick. Let me take off your headgear. Yeah, got your headgear and your pants. Now time to die. All right, let me pick up your crap. Let me pick up this crap, too. I think we're safe for the moment. Don't forget what you've learned here today. T though, as it will very... It will very likely come in handy. Reading is amazing. Okay. All right, well, it didn't let me pick up that other thing, but whatever. We won. We did. We did, somehow. I was so caught up in the moment, I barely noticed how well we were doing. Where did all this strength come from? Hmm, who's that? I don't know, lifting bro? Hmm, who's who? Oh, it's my sister! Our parents weren't very imaginative, Dionica. Broski? Broski. How American! I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. This sounds like the voice actress who voiced, um... Who was the little girl from Digimon? 
C comment below with the little girl from Digimon's name. The, the, the original Digimon. And then she grew up into the teenager. She had the, uh, the angel Digimon. Hopefully you know who I'm talking about. C comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Stare. Why? <laughs> yeah, you need to say it. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? I don't know. She saved my life. It's complicated. Just a girl who kissed me, that's all. I guess you I guess you could brag to your little sister, even though it was a mouthful of blood involved. Ah, oh, shut it. We all know you still have your V-card. <sighs> your sister just called you out for being a virgin! <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days. Okay. I didn't mean to. I, it was out of my hands. I do whatever the hell I want. I'm so sorry. Please, for, yeah, whatever. Uh, I didn't mean to. It was the out of my hands. The situation is thus: there is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea, which that shop over there just got in. Okay, so you want me to go buy you a shirt. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. Alright, okay. That was adorable. I can't exactly say no to that. Please don't let it be expensive. Yeah, the, that's me. Anything for my adorable little si Whatever. Whatever, otaku. Don't get creepy. There we good. Uh, that was pricier than I ever imagined. Is it to your like? No. Why? Why? It, you can tell it's the Otaku freaking option. It, all right. All right. Uh, it was pricier than I imagined. I'm happy now. Thanks, protagonist. Protagonist. Okay. All right. Being related to her is so damn expensive, it I is. I let it go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. She just pantses you in public and you die? Like, worst prank ever? Eep. The other freedom fighters have been really worried about you too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. All right. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Yeah, because of them accidentally pantsing me in public and I just die spontaneously. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Okay, buy me some clothes. Stop by any time you're back at base and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. All right. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in such as I. Okay. You are pale. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. All right. You, you have really bad posture, adorable little sister. Your little sister is certainly unique. I, I think she has a developmental disorder, but she's pretty awesome. Not, not but she's pretty awesome. And she's pretty awesome. Embarrassingly so. Yeah, she's pretty much hopeless. I'm proud to call her my dear sister. Uh, that's adorable, but we, we've no we know that the third option will lead us down the otaku path and will ultimately end in my demise. So I'm going to call her hopeless. So... Are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? I, I never called it that. I don't know what you're talking about. If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Alright. Yeah, I guess we did draw some attention to ourselves. If we head to UD+, uh, we'll be there in no time flat. Underground Directory Plus. I don't know. I don't know what that stands for. Can I move? Okay. Hello, UD+, plus, I guess.
Are we following my little sis- Oh, hey, cool. Your hair is freaking awesome. Why can't- why can't more people- uh, where, where I live, everyone is really conservative about their look. Um, there, there's like no one wearing like crazy hair colors and stuff. I live in a capital, uh, so it's a really conservative area where people just wear plain, weird, I, I guess not weird clothes. Which is a shame because I love seeing crazy hair and stuff. Dress that way, people. Wear crazy hair and stuff. This place. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Is this Mogra? That's what the pop-up said. If you guys can read it, cause my, cause my big head. Does a place like this exist? Is this something that people want? Women and... I guess... Cleaning lady? Uh, what, what, what would you- Maid. Maid outfits calling you master? Okay. Oh! Is it really you? Yes? You've been gone for three whole days, man. Where you been? How old are you? You're like 90! <laughs> What are you doing in a place like this? The hell were you thinking disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped. I was. Thanks for your concern. I'm hoping that we have romantic entanglements because so far I seem to be a perverted guy who's only into women. And what's with the high quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. Did you just call this lady an object, sir? I'm gonna punch you in the face and strip you in public. We're dating. Uh, I, I can tell you're real worried. Uh, uh, I, I, I kind of want to say this just so he goes and screws off, but I'll say she saved my life. She saved your life? What do you mean? How else could that be interpreted? Usually when there's life-saving involved, it's one saving someone's life by not letting them- How can I possibly explain this to them? Uh, just tell them you're a bone vampire. With a rare bone deficiency. If you're stripped in public, you will melt. Man, I never would have guessed all those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true! Is that the guy? Uh, 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 Edward from Full Metal Alchemist? Do they actually have good voice acting talent? It's possible. Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? I guess not. There have been like a million clips about it. People getting kidnapped, turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals. But they don't look like monsters, so why are you guys calling them monsters? Why not just say some serial strippers or some weirdos or, or anything like that? Yeah, that's... That's they steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states. It's because they've been attacked by these synthesters? Probably? Or they're like all on some kind of really heavy drug and they're all just tripping through the streets. I, I mean, it is Japan. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say anything bad about Japan because I've never been there. I have no idea if that's a stereotype of Japan. So forgive me. I think I understand. Or at least I think it's Japan. This could be some completely fictional place.
Yeah, no, it's it. Yeah, no, that I'm I'm pretty sure that's the saying. Yeah. That would be fiction, Cotty. Truth is stranger than fiction. No, no, no. She was right. Don't know correct her. She was right. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. I signed a contract, apparently, and, you know, apparently they're legally binding even when they're freaking illegal. Come on, Toko, he's been through enough already. Besides, getting lured in by Ellie Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. I'm ashamed to be whoever they're talking about. Yeah, I was a victim of circumstance. I'm a sucker for a pretty figurine. Materialism is an alluring mistress. Uh, I'm a victim of circumstance. Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. I got kidnapped, strapped to a table, and turned into a monster because I'm a pervert. I, I, I mean, and you're worried about you? All right. I yield. I repent my transgressions. Can you see it in your heart to forgive me? Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I don't want to... All right, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So ignoring these two for the moment. I believe introductions are in order. Don't you dare be perving on this girl. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Uh. Mine is Shizuku. Shizuku Tokikaze. Okay. I mean, they both look like they would just... They look like the kind of people you wouldn't invite to a party. That, that, that's all I'm gonna say. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. All right. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. And you just happen to hang out at this weird bar. But, okay, He's whatever. As well. And this bar serves as our base of operations. Okay, maybe they're not otakus. Maybe they're just like legit. Maybe they're your legitimate friends and you're just the crazy, creepy otaku. Which would be awesome because that, that's hilarious. <laughs> and I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana. And the pleasure's mine. All right. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm the one with all the ideas. Older twin brother. So you mean you are seconds old? Why is that important? Why Why does everyone care about how many seconds you came out before the other one? Okay. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? Yeah. You shut up. You shut up and you die. Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. You're the same age! Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikkonen. Hi? Who? Aren't, aren't you the barmaid? Like, what the hell are you doing talking to my friends and me? Get back to work! I blew on in from Finland to Japan so I could see and do it. Oh. Okay, so we are in Japan, and you have a horrible Finnish accent. Okay. Hmm, mm, indeed. I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Yeah. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this year game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Okay, yeah. No, that, 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 that's all right. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me dear sweet old man if you prefer. Who would ever call you that? Who would call you that? I just met you, sir. He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. 
You could have said that sooner, you know. We don't care! You're some creepy old dude who hangs out with kids! I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolt and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. Wait, 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 wait. Am I the dope? Adult? Uh, so, you're my childhood best friend. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Keep getting, like, random bits of crap stuck on my tongue. It's not fun. Incidentally, and that rhyme. For saving him. Okay, yeah, yeah, so she's my childhood friend. It happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. That was a weird expression. She comes around rarely would be, um, I, okay, whatever. So, what's the plan? Um, the plan is to finish our introductions. Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? I'm pretty sure that wouldn't work. They'd never believe a word of it. Yeah. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthister things now yourself, right? Yeah, so I strip naked in public and, uh, and I die, and then the police will be like, oh, okay. What happened to your accent? Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. You're an ass! Don't even joke about that! Yeah, let's drown him! Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? I don't even know if that's possible, that's I mean, a good question. If he stays like this, He'll start attacking people sooner or later. Oh, no, no, it, it, it's okay. I just drank a mouthful of this girl's blood, so I'll be okay. That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. Yeah. He... he won't? Yeah, no, because I drank all of her blood. Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Um... Ah, uh, let's look more into these synthesizers, synth synthesters, synthesizers, which, okay, yeah, all right. Ah, uh, let me find a way to make me human again. Let me catch up on all the dvr anime. I mean, that's not very otaku, and that, I mean, that seems like a shut-in, but I'm gonna say let's look into, I don't know, I'll do the comedic relief yeah, thing. Yeah, I guess you did miss three days worth of television. Makes sense you'd want to catch up. You're just okay with that. All right, I can see why we're friends, I guess. I wish I mean Toko's right. You really are a dumb- Oh, okay, no, that's- You make even me look upstanding. Yeah, yeah, I know, that, that's, that's, that's what I, uh, that's what I was expecting. There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. We don't care, old man! Go back to work! Like, what are you doing here? You're... You're not a part of this conversation, sir! Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? I don't know. Go away, Pops. Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we'll go with that. Kikaze, would you care to help us out with that? I mean, I guess that's probably why she's here. What? What indeed? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. I thought that you were a part of, like, some lineage that killed them. Which is why I drank your blood to become normal or normal-ish again. Did you- are you just some random girl who came along, beat two guys to death with a parasol, and then spit a bunch of blood into my mouth, only to not actually have any purpose for being there, or any reason to spit your blood into my mouth? But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. Okay. <laughs> I think that ship has already sailed. 
No, it hasn't. I mean, she could just walk away and you guys never hear from her again. No kidding. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. Pops, you better watch your ass. You better back up, stay behind your bar, and keep your mouth shut. Because I will come over there. I'm not a freaky vampire. And you need to stop hanging out with underage people. You weirdo. If you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. Whatever, weirdo. Alright. Okay then. Perfect. She's a good Please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. What are you what are you two doing here? I do not understand. You are employer and employee. Go pest pester other people. We will call you if we need refreshments. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. Alright, that, that's cool. Use pay phones. That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. I don't have one of those either. If she doesn't have a cell phone and she's sleeping on sidewalks, chances are she doesn't have an email address either. Um, well... Hmm, sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? She sleeps on sidewalks! Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. How do we contact you? Seriously? So you're an honest-to-goodness real-life runaway? All mired in melodrama? Sure, if you want to be an asshole about it. I didn't run away exactly, and I do have a place to stay. Yeah. You know, the, the, the steps of that shrine that we were in just a little while ago. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Why would you point out that there's plenty of manga? Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess, that I, I'm not familiar with. It's gonna be an hour of that, just me playing with my fuzzy hair. Do you not have anywhere else to go? I sleep in a manga cafe. Get off my back. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pops, no one asked you. Why? Why are you still here? Pops, you know, the upstairs here is all stark and bare and empty. That was a weird way to describe it. Why wouldn't you just say, oh, she could live in the room upstairs? Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. Whatever, Pops. What do you say, Shizuku? If you like, you're free to stay on the second floor here for a spell. Sure. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's gotta be more than a coincidence. What do you mean, we? I mean, do you guys own this place? No, the old man who keeps butting into our business owns this place. I'm pretty sure you have no say. Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. All right, whatever you it say. Seem to be a win for all parties. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Ohm! Is that an expression I'm not familiar with? Bomb um? Is that a? Wait. It must be a Finnish thing. I haven't agreed to anything. Please for me, congrats, Freedom Fighters! Oh, don't go! Please don't go! All right, just for a little while. Though. All right. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, I guess, for some reason. You should be saying that to Pops. Like, this is his place, and for some reason, we're all involved. I mean, he keeps butting into our business, so I guess we might as well butt into his. Yeah, we own this establishment, too. Get the hell out, Pops. Okay, so here we freedom fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. Okay. You said you fought some of these things already. Aside from that, you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? 
Uh, no, but I'm pretty good at stripping people naked in public. Uh, I was forged in the fires of t Why? <laughs> Why? I assume that's a game? Toko's Wrath? Uh, I can hold my own in, a fi in fighting games? Well, that's... The I imagine those two are the same thing. Well, I can argue with the best of them. Yeah. There you go. No, I'd say <coughs> even in the realm of verbal combat, Excuse me. you fall a bit short. You're an ass. Yeah. Your sister beats you there every time. Because my sister is clearly a genius, so... See, I'm getting a little worried now. Shut the hell up, Pops. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you want me to go fight a bunch of hardcore criminals to learn how to fight. Might be a good place Underground fighting ring! The basics of combat. You want, I'll introduce you. Sure. For real? What kind of person is this? Who the hell runs a battle arena in Akiba? Who the hell runs a battle arena? Why are you calling it a battle arena? It's clearly an underground fighting ring. It's just a martial arts nut I know who found herself managing the place, that's all. Okay, maybe that's the chick in the suit. But she doesn't let just anyone step into the ring. You gotta pass some kind of test first or something. Alright, well I'm strong as hell now, so... So you better get going. Say my name! Oh, and take Shizuku with you too. A little extra training can't hurt any, right? Right. Mm. I think Toko should go with. She can probably force your way in there, no problem. Test be damned. Okay. Watch your tongue. I am a dainty and respectable lady. You got that? Seriously? Rude much? You can't argue with her. It's not a bad idea, though. Choose to be who you want to be. Arena. Shizuku or Toko? Oh, it's a choice. Who the hell's Caddy? Who's this? I'm I'm afraid of picking them. Who is this? Is that your brother? Ah! Uh, I I kind of want to go with Toko, but because she seems like a badass, and I don't know. We we we've already had enough of Shizu Shizuku Shizuku. Um, I don't know who this is. Who is this? Sh should I do it? Is everyone collectively yelling? I don't know what's up with my frizzy ass hair. I'm sorry, it keeps distracting me. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if, uh... Is that the other waitress that we just weren't introduced to? Alright, well, we'll go with Toko. What? Why me? I don't know! I... I guess it makes sense, actually. You go by yourself, and they'll wipe the floor with you. So for your sake, yeah, I'll go along. Okay. The battle arena is on the other Oh, street you're Cotty! And right past Junk Street. You got that? I mean, you're adorable, but like, what the hell are you doing all up in my- I didn't even know your name, because you're just some waitress who works here. Who happens- I- I- Just get back to work! Come on, let's get this over with. Alright. Knock him dead! Whatever you say, old man. So I can get to the battle arena through Junk Street. Changing partners. Dosey doing. You can change partners by talking to the person you wish to accompany you to Mogra. At, uh, sorry, in Mogra. Uh, always be sure to select the most suitable person to, to, for, to your desired ending as your choice will contribute greatly to the story's conclusion. Okay. So is this like a romance sim under a strip people naked in public sim? That's strange. I guess? I don't know. I really like Toka so far, because she's like a very... Uh, she, she's, she's a strong female character. I feel like that's what is required in this game. Do you have a moment? 
I was wondering if there's anyone you have your eye on. Well, maybe it's you, sir. I'm fairly perceptive in the matters of the heart, so I can tell what the many girls in your life think of you. You know the many girls in my life? You mean the two girls in my life who I just... Three, maybe? That I just met? Please feel free to ask me for updates anytime. All right. As you continue on your journey, the conversation choices you make will determine how you're regarded. Okay. Which in turn may affect the story's outcome. So be sure to check back with me from time to time and always think before you speak. Okay. All right, well, it's a good thing I know that. Um, I noticed that I had my ma uh, my cursor in the frame last episode. Sorry about that. I also noticed that uh, the very first, my very first introduction of the game, I mispronounced the name of it. Um, I assume it's like some some kind of form of dyslexia that I have, because uh, I, I I constantly like flip letters and read them backwards all the time, and I apologize for that. Anyway, so if you catch me doing it, I'm sorry. It's either I'm really tired or I was dropped on my head as a child. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. Comment on what you think of the game so far. Go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon. And I apologize for my frizzy-ass crazy hair today. See you soon. Please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do that to me. Cheat!